and this one so these are not i don't even know why the freaking band came off and here's another one this is gonna be interesting hi I've talked about the problematic aspects of family channels before, but there's one family channel in particular that has done so many shady and sus things that I'm sure I won't be able to cover it all in today's video. Today, we are going to dive into the scams that the Ace family has participated in, mainly the parents, of course, because children are perfect angels and don't participate in scams. And this video is going to be a deep dive into all of those scams and shady things. This is the second episode or video on my series where I look at public figures and examine all the scams and shady businesses that they've participated in. Before we get into it though, if you like deep dives and like to analyze, don't forget to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. If you like this video, it helps boost the video into the YouTube algorithm, I guess. The comment highlight for today's video is this one. If you wanna be featured in the next video, leave an interesting or funny comment down below. And let's get into it. The Ace family consists of the father, Austin McBroom, the mother, Catherine Piaz, or McBroom, I think now. And there are three children who I won't be naming out, mainly because I don't want them to end up being associated with the scams or shady actions of their parents. I wanna briefly mention some of the controversies that they've been in, just because I think it's important to briefly talk about it. Though in this video, I won't be heavily speculating on their relationship or talking about Catherine's past. Those two things I just, don't want to talk about. I just feel like they're kind of all speculation or judging someone based off of their past and that's not what we're here for. We're not here to needlessly judge people. Instead, we're here to actually analyze the shady actions that they've done. A lot of these controversies mainly have to do with the actions of the father, Austin McBroom. For example, his shady past and some of the tweets that he's tweeted out, which I'm gonna show up on the screen, but I'm not going to say them out loud just because I don't want those sentences and words coming out of my mouth. Brothers who mistaken these fat girls for being thick. Thick? What is this? I'm mistaking this all the time. Astronaut. There's also the horribly cringy pranks that the Ace family has done in the traditional family channel fashion where they do these like blatantly staged and ridiculous premises of pranks. I don't know if that was proper grammar, but you get what I mean. Hurry, come here, hurry. Look. What? You won't believe what I did. What? I actually deleted all our videos. Damn it! There was also the incident of the lollipop video where Austin gives a child in their family, not their child specifically, but I believe Catherine's younger sister who was a child. Austin films this child going into, it looks like a Spencer's I believe is what it was. And he purchases a phallic shaped lollipop for this child. Show Catherine what you have in your hand. Show Catherine. Show her. She said it's a lollipop. <laughs> Are you really making me buy this lollipop right now? You really want it? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> and talks about it being like their little secret and just a lot of really weird, shady things happened in that video. Please, bro, put that in a bag right now. <laughs> Keep that in the bag forever. Do not show that to anybody, okay? okay. That's your little secret. <laughs> the logic, I just... What brings you to do that and think that that's okay and then film it and post it publicly? I will never understand the logic. There was also the grape without the G allegations that came out about Austin McBroom. She repeatedly said no. 
The girl who was actually in this situation, she said to speak on this video that Cole Corrigan posted, some of you guys already figured out that I'm the other girl that they're talking about in the video. I feel like this video was made for the wrong reasons and this wasn't Cole's story to tell. I wanted to say that Austin McBroom is not to blame in the situation and did not me or anyone. There's so many conflicting sides to that story and what really happened, but I thought I would at least mention those allegations to add to the fuller picture of what we're discussing today. There's also been a lot of cheating claims or rumors or allegations, whatever you want to call them, about Austin cheating on Catherine, the mother of the Ace family. I think one of the most interesting rumors was stated by the host of the Call Her Daddy podcast, Alex. Like literally the, who, what are they called? The Ace family, the YouTubers and all that. And that guy came out and everyone was blaming him of like, oh, he, those girls, whatever. I don't know if that story is true, but what I do know for a fact is one of my friends has literally the, ace guy and he cheats on that woman all the time and i'm pretty sure she probably gets dms about it all the time and the one the wife is obviously making a decision to like stay with the husband that's her call whatever she's got like a family and that's what you want to do your cup of tea whatever but there's also been so 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 many others who've claimed that austin cheats frequently on Catherine, and Catherine has vehemently denied all of these rumors claims allegations and it's definitely hard to know the full true story of all of that without like concrete evidence or proof and it seems like the ace family is definitely willing to sue or go after anyone who does have any concrete evidence or proof. So it seems like we'll just never know the full story. Although there's also another option as well. Some people have open relationships and that's how they structure their relationship. And if that's something that's mutually agreed, then that's, you know, their personal life and their personal decisions that two consenting adults are allowed to make. So those are some of the controversies that the Ace family has been involved with, but let's get into the timeline of the scams and shady business practices that the Ace family has done. Something that makes the controversies and the alleged shady scams out there more disturbing is the fact that the Ace family's largest demographic is a child audience. They cater their content to children. They target children to be the viewers of their content. <laughs> family ball set y'all just y'all just want to tickle it y'all just love to just tickle it y'all don't even want to go away y'all don't even want to go nobody else y'all just the ace family they got nice, nice ball set let's just say with the ace family ball set that shit nice let's just tickle it we just gonna tickle it hold it in our hands and just do what we want with it say what we want about them we just gonna hold their ball sack and just not let go of it we just gonna fucking just rip it apart play with it tickle it parents this is the motherfucker that your kids look up to so when cheating scandals and the lollipop scandals come out, it makes it even more upsetting because their audience is children. Children are watching this and taking it in. And I think that's why a lot of the things that the Ace family does business-wise are so blatant and obvious because they expect their child audience to not know the difference logically, to not understand that this is a scam. So they're so blatant about it because they think that they can get away with it. And honestly, they're kind of right, unfortunately. So the first alleged scam that we'll discuss is in August of 2018 and the house robbery that many feel was faked. There's cop cars everywhere. They're inside the house right now. Check it out. I know, baby, I know. She got Where's your mailbox? In the front. That's weird. So guys, this is what they did, as you can see. Shout out their entire back door, so they came in. The Ace family posted a YouTube video claiming that their house was robbed while they were away at Disneyland. They filmed the aftermath of the break-in as well as the police visiting their home, which is of course a really traumatic thing if that's real, and if that is real then that's horrible to go through. But many people thought that the way that the police were acting was extremely suspicious. And a lot of people feel like it was really odd that this robbery took place just as Austin's racist past was coming to light and all of his racist tweets were being exposed. And just know karma is a bitch. Karma is a bitch. God is going to catch y'all. Watch. So you never had an alarm go off. 
Do you guys have security cameras? Do have cameras? Yes, Everywhere people. Everywhere now. Yes, people. Don't try to do no funny stuff. Of course, more cameras. More cameras. Uh -huh. They're looking at y'all, so be careful now. But you can see there's another camera right there. <laughs> There's been this email that's been flying around about somebody who pretended to be Austin's financial advisor. They emailed a company that's known for working with fake cops and they sent a receipt of his purchase. A lot of people felt like this was just an attempt to have the noise of this cover up the controversy that the family was currently going through. The second shady scam that the Ace family took part in is their basketball charity event in June of 2018. This organization is a nonprofit organization for kids with chronic illnesses and life threatening medical conditions. And that charity, you guys go home or on your phones, you look up the Pain of Turtle dot org. The Pain of Turtle is local, and this is a this is gonna send a lot of kids to camp. So again, thank all of you, thank you, Austin, Ace Family, Catherine, all of you for this trip. In June of 2018, the Ace family held a charity event where they announced that they would be donating $100,000 to the charity of their choice. This basketball charity event was really successful, but at the end of it, they ended up only giving away $75,000 instead of their original promised $100,000. They were gonna donate $100,000 to charity, and then at the event, they only had a check written for $75,000. It raised a lot of red flags as to like, wait a minute, Where's the other 25K that you said? Many felt like this just wasn't cool and didn't really understand why. why? Like why only give away 75% of what you promised to give away? It's just so strange. And a lot of people even theorized that the event was a scam itself, meant to give the Ace family more publicity and also make money even off of the charity event. Okay, so it looks like the Ace family have been exposed for being scammers and profiting off of what was supposed to be a charity event. Um, a YouTuber by the name of Choice TV, he did a video breaking down how they profited and how they did not do what they said they were going to do with the proceeds. $51,000 plus $32,000 plus $460,000. The answer is about $543,000 US dollars. <sighs> Let me just mention the fact that every time you guys are talking about giving back, you're also talking about the profits you're going to make off shit. So when they posted these rumors about you making profit off the charity event, it's no shit. Like, at this point, these people just get away with so much shit because of their recognition and some people just gotta open their fucking eyes. But the Ace family had their own explanations of why they gave away only part of the money that they promised. The tickets are, are 45 and they sold about 10,000. They made around $400,000, right? Um, first of all, Catherine and I have never done anything like that at all. As you all know, this was our first time and I believe it might have been the first time um, someone has, has hosted an event like that. And over this, I've seen online conversation really split two ways. Some people think it's awesome that they donated money at all. I mean, how many of us can say we gave away $75,000 to a charity? And some feel like the whole thing was really just a scheme to gain more followers and more money for themselves. The Ace family has also taken part in some really scammy or strange giveaways, like saying in a video that only people who purchase their merch will be entered into a giveaway to win $1,000, which is against YouTube guidelines. Giveaways should be free to enter. You shouldn't have to pay to be involved in a giveaway. That if you go to our website and cop some merch, we'll be giving five lucky winners $1,000. It's against the guidelines on YouTube that literally say if you do a giveaway, it has to be free. They've also done things like give away a free car, but then in a later video, the car was shown in their front yard. So did they really give it away? Oh! <laughs> Get everything done, but we got some silly juice back here for you. We got some silly oh juice back here. <laughs> Thank you guys. Someone actually commented on that video when was this film? Because I'm confused. They still got the Jeep they gave away if it's still there. Another person said they live near them and they passed by on a hike and the Jeep was still there after the Jeep giveaway video came out. And it basically seems like a lot of their giveaways are just blatant scams designed to bring them more followers, but not actually be a true authentic giveaway for their fans. There was also an incident with the bands where Austin McBroom allegedly reached out to an artist saying he likes his work and they got together and this artist pitched him all these ideas 
ideas for his work, what he wants to do, showed him all these bands. And from there, I was like, all right, well, what I could do is I can make a couple exclusively for you, and then we could sell them, and then, you know, when I link back up, I'll make them. When I link back up, we could negotiate, like, the price. And then I was like, and then it just clicked to me. I was like, another thing was dope is I'm working on a truck that I'm about to drop that uh, we can, like, basically do pop-ups where every band that I make exclusively for you we pop up, we can sell him. Basically, the artist said that Austin just ripped him off. His idea for a mobile merch truck, he ripped that off of this artist. The bands, he copied the identical look of it and just basically took all of this artist's work and just carbon copied it for himself without giving the artist any credit or any kickback. And then a couple days later, I seen on YouTube, he had on the band, some bands that looked like my bands for him and his daughter. It was mad thick. It wasn't, I just know my work. And I was like, I was like, Lika, come here, look at this. And she like, nah. Then when I just seen this truck, I felt some type of way. And that's when I was like, oh, no. And it's crazy because when I posted about the truck, people was hitting me up, mad DMs, like, you're not the only one he ripped off. He's been ripping people off. I couldn't find too much on this, but I also remember a controversy about Austin not paying his editor properly. I'll add a clip of it if I can find it. This director claims that he wasn't paid what he was worth. He was only paid $150 for his contributions and his work, and he wasn't credited like he was supposed to. Originally, we had we kicked it off amazingly, but it ended up taking a turn when me asking for what I deserve and what I made. When you work hard at this craft to make it look good, um, you're not constantly just, you don't just put a video, slap it together in two seconds, you know what I'm saying? So it's time going into this. And in mind, I gave him discounts on my rates just because he was a homie and I was just trying to grow with him, you know? I wasn't focused on the money. But where it got weird was when, if you're not gonna just credit me for the video I provide you with, then just pay me my regular rate. The reason for my posting was to know your worth, bottom line, you know? And a lot of people out here, videographers and artists, don't get paid what they're worth all the time. And sometimes they don't even get credit, their work just gets stolen. It just seems like this family is really willing to cut corners in any way they can to not properly credit people who are working to help their channel or who have valuable artistic input to help them grow. And like, I just don't think that's cool at all. I don't think anyone should get away with ripping off art and not paying their employees because it's just really shady and wrong. Early 2019, the Ace Family launched the Ace Family app, which promised to feature exclusive access to discounts, deals, and updates to the Ace Family gear for a subscription price. The app was a scam. In mid-2018, the Ace Family app was released and hype was built on their main YouTube channel regarding the exclusive videos available to what Austin described as real Ace Family members. And then on January 28th of 2019, the Ace Family announced that they would be taking a break from YouTube and only posting on the app. So if you wanted to see any Ace Family videos, you had to purchase the subscription fee to the app. Um, we will be taking a break from YouTube. And why are you smiling at me like that? I'm excited. So because those things happen, obviously, as you guys know, we're taking this break. We're going to focus on our app, our merch, a whole bunch of other amazing things. A lot of people felt like that was a way of kind of forcing their fans who'd been following them for a while to purchase the app in order to be able to see their content and not miss out on any Ace Family content. And since a lot of their followers are children who might not fully understand the concept of money, they might purchase the app not thinking it's a big deal, not understanding the concept of a subscription service. And it just feels like a way of like tricking those vulnerable children into purchasing the app. So fans were really upset and called this move just a blatant scam. Additionally, there was times where there was absolutely no new content on the app and fans would still be charged. To purchase their merchandise, you need to download their app. Oh, it gets better. The app has a monthly subscription fee of $2.99. Catherine said on Twitter that only a real fan of the Ace family was ready to subscribe after downloading the free app. Many who had ordered items from the app had been charged but had to wait months for their items or had not received them at all. When merchandise ran out on the channel, it was not replenished and subscribers continued to be charged. Catherine and Austin said that they were working on the app, but many were already convinced it was a scam from the very beginning. On top of that, merchandise items purchased from the app 
would take months and months to be delivered or never got delivered at all. There are lots of reports that their fans have struggled receiving their merch that they paid for and they continue to pay for an app, yet they aren't receiving anything they actually paid for in general. Like, where's my merch that I just bought through your app that I already have to pay a membership for? Another shady thing that happened regarding the Ace family and scams was an early 2019 basketball giveaway event that was just really shady all, all around. around. PSA, I first want to start off by wishing everyone a happy new year. The Ace Family wants to start off this year by doing something fun and entertaining. So next Friday, January 11th, the Ace Family is giving away $100,000 to someone who can hit 10 three-point shots in a row. If you think you can do it, hit us up. I know I can do it. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Ace Family is giving away $100,000. Goddamn. So here are the rules. Location, Los Angeles. Date, Friday, January 11th. Time, to be announced. We're only picking 20 contestants. For contestants must shoot from 10 different spots on the court. Whoever makes 10 shots in a row first wins 100K. All ages and genders are welcome. If you think you can do it, hit us up. If you think your favorite YouTuber or celebrity can do it, make sure you tag them. I also put the video on my Instagram, so make sure you tag them in the comments. Guys, it's a free 100K. You don't have to pay to enter. Although, we suggest, it's up to you, but we suggest whoever wins donates a portion to charity. You all know, Kath and I love giving back. They claimed that it was basically this giveaway that anyone could enter and the winner in this competition would be winning $100,000. Now, of course, that's a huge deal. $100,000 is a big, big deal. And a lot of people got excited that maybe they could be the one to win. So a lot of buzz and noise was generated. The first shady thing about this event is a lot of his followers thought that they would be the one selected to do the basketball charity event, but instead Austin chose only famous YouTubers to compete in the event. You know, because they just are so pressed for $100,000. They need the money, obviously. So here's the confirmed contestants that we have so far. He got Jake Paul, King Batch, Rice Gum, and Soulja Boy. But wait, there's more. We also got FaZe Rug, YG, Nick Cannon, and Logan Paul. And the next people I see are YBN, DDG, Jordan Jones, Supreme Patty, Jacob Satorius, and Alex Wasabi. All famous and rich people, or at least wealthy people. He kept promoting and talking about the event as if it was this charity giveaway type of event. But in reality, it really just seems like a cross promotion collaboration scheme to gain more followers and more free press. Everybody is dragging the shit out of the Ace family. <laughs> and then he follows it up in response to his fans saying this. And for the people who are saying, why are we picking any Ace family members for the contest? If you're an Ace family member, you know we <laughs> always do stuff <laughs> why for our like Ace family that? members. <laughs> Come the day of the actual event, Nobody was winning the $100,000. The competition went on for a really long time and no one could win. And so Austin just had this like random idea to call on a random audience member who turned out to be his very close basketball friend from college. All of a sudden, this random friend quickly and easily won the $100,000. I had uh, two of my good basketball friends, someone who actually played basketball, college basketball, I want them two to come out. I'm gonna let them give a chance too. Okay. Oh, okay. You can tell he can shoot. He can shoot. Oh yeah, he got that. Shit. Okay. This is it. This is it. This is it. Austin acted like this was just such a surprise, but this is actually great because this person really needed the money. Wow, he really won 100K. Cause a lot of people kept saying, yo, give it to someone who needs it. But the whole thing is a little sus and a little fishy. Many people think that the event was just rigged from the very beginning, basically so that the Ace family could just make a video with a bunch of popular YouTubers, but not actually have to give away the money because it's very easy to imagine a scenario where this friend of his made a deal that he would be the one winning and he would give Austin some of the money back. So Austin and I go way back. Like Austin and I have known each other since we were about 
12. We played basketball together for forever. A lot of people feel like that might be what happened. And even if it's not, people looked into this guy and felt like he was actually pretty privileged already and really didn't need the money as much as Austin acted like he did. I just won $100,000. I am screaming on the inside, on the outside. Everybody's swarming me. I mean, it is, this is the, I don't, I still, it still hasn't hit me. First things first, I'm gonna move out of my parents' house and into my own place. I need to have my own space, my own closet, just live on my own, which I'm super excited for. That will be my first move for sure. I will take Austin out to dinner for the second move. So overall, none of the event was as it was claimed to be, and it was all extremely misleading, and a lot of people think it was just a total scam. There's also the Ace Family Club that the Ace Family created. This is where they post all their exclusive content. So videos um, that we've never seen on the channel. Um, they post like some TikToks that they haven't posted on TikTok. Which is basically like their channel membership. A bunch of perks for the Ace Family for $20.16 a month, which is kind of pricey in my opinion. The Ace Family recently launched their juice brand, Silly Juice. Ooh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you're a juice man. Oh, you really made juice. <laughs> Go on sillyjuice.com and order your first case. We came out with six flavors, six delicious flavors. I definitely think it's really interesting when YouTubers expand beyond the YouTube platform and try and actually create a legitimate business. But I feel like sometimes there are just YouTubers who create products that are just super unoriginal, they're not innovative in any way whatsoever, and they just bank on the fact that they have a large audience to try and get as many product sales as possible on this item that's just really not special in any way. For example, Silly Juice, the brand that the Ace Family came out with, it's branded as like a healthy juice, but it has a ton of sugar, 37 grams of sugar, which is more than even other leading juice brands. Each one of these is 10 fluid ounces. This little, little baby guy is 10 fluid ounces, 150 calories, 38 grams of carbs. And of those 38 grams of carbs, well, I was gonna say that's all sugar, but it's listed total sugar is 37. It's $15.95 for a 12 pack of juices that you can purchase online. And I am not a bulk pack juice purchaser, so I'm not really sure if that's an outrageous price. Let me know if you do purchase bulk pack juices, if that's an outrageous price. That's basically a dollar and 30 cents for a single bottle. It seems like just a slightly higher up price than other leading brands, but you know, maybe people are searching in the market for a luxury children's juice. Who knows? I don't know. This almost tastes like a sweetened like cough drop to me. <laughs> people who purchased these juices, these Silly Juices also claimed that when they received their order, the juice had literal mold on it or the packages were destroyed. So, interesting. And this one. So these are not I don't even know why the freaking bang came off. And here's another one. So these are perfectly new. You could see that they still have gas. And then I don't know what the fuck that mold came there. That's disgusting. Is this great you in it? Get me scared, Kayla. That don't look like the right juice at all. Like they look like different color from all of that. That feels even worse than like influencers who sell makeup that has like mold and damaged packages, as gross as that is, because you're literally consuming this. So, <laughs> yikes. yikes. There's also been a lot of speculation that the Ace family pays for their views. 
And a lot of people think this because all of their videos within the first hour of posting have the exact same view count. Literally all of his videos have the same amount of views after one hour. I do have a theory that he has been purchasing views and subscribers. If you see my channel or other channels, most videos have like a varied view count. Some videos do really well and some videos just don't do that well. And um, it, it's hard to predict what the YouTube algorithm will like or what your audience will like and views. So the fact that the Ace family has the exact same views every single time is definitely a little bit sus. But I also don't know if that necessarily means that they're paying for views because I also think about like how would they be able to predict the authentic amount of viewership and then account for the difference. Like I don't know if you could predict authentic views of a video enough to pay the difference and get the view count to be the same every time, but I don't know. The worst part about all of these shady business dealings and scams is that they are targeted towards children. children. As we all know, children are the most lucrative audience to sell to because they're the most impressionable and the most easily influenced. But that also means that they can be easily convinced and easily scammed. Getting ads on kids' content is the highest paid for and the most competitive spot. That's why family content channels get paid the most. So for an entire YouTube family brand to just hyper-focus on selling all of these different business schemes to children is a little bit shady. I know that children aren't the only people that watch family content and family YouTube channels, but they are a large demographic or a large portion of the Ace family. I mean, honestly, who's buying Silly Juice? It's parents buying Silly Juice for their children. There's no adults buying Silly Juice for themselves. YouTube has become a full-blown industry. And it seems like with any industry, there's people who take advantage of every loophole that they can find to scam and get as much money as they possibly can. While it can be frustrating to see people like the Ace family succeed, I think it's important to also remember that scammers like the people that I've talked about in my videos have to live with themselves at the end of the day. Though I'm sure it's a little easier to live with yourself when you're living in a luxury LA mansion making millions. So...